Good morning, Foothill Church. Carmen Singleton here. Happy Wednesday. I know that Wednesdays for me can mean oftentimes that I am half excited, half exhausted um, as far as the week goes. But wherever you find yourself this morning, I thought it would be a good idea to start our day together by reading <clears throat> um, a portion of scripture and then um, reading a liturgy or a prayer over us. Um, the liturgy is from a book called Every Moment Holy, um, but I'm only going to read the last part of it. And so it's a liturgy for the beginning of the day. So uh, whether you're staying at home or you are going off to work or wherever you are, um, uh, maybe think about a part of Psalm 19 that I will read just now and choose that part uh, to meditate on the rest of the day. Whatever sticks out to you, think about that and meditate on that and maybe pray um, over that. Um, or maybe go sit down and read it all by yourself. Um, so whatever you do, uh, you can meditate on a part of God's word and then I will pray uh, or I will read that prayer, a prayer over us. <clears throat> Psalm 19 says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the skies above proclaim his handiwork. Day to day pours out speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words whose voice is not heard. Their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tent for the sun, which comes out like a bridegroom leaving his chamber, and like a strong man runs its course with joy. It's rising, it's from the end of the heavens, and it's circuit to the end of them, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them there is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Declare me innocent from hidden faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. May these words of God bring to each of us conviction, challenge, and comfort. As our lives and choices this day require. Shape us now, O Lord. Prepare bodies for the labors of this day. Give us strength and health to complete them. Prepare our minds for the demands of this day. Grant us clarity, creativity, and discernment. Prepare our souls for those sorrows and joys and celebrations and disappointments we will encounter that every circumstance would serve only to draw us nearer to you. May our words, our choices, and our actions today be offered as true expressions of worship. Now you who are loved of God, step forward into this new day appointed by Him that you might journey through its hours in the peace and grace and the love of your Lord. Lead us this day, Lord Christ, that we might walk its paths in the light of the hope of your coming redemption. In Jesus' name, amen. Miss you, Foothill. Hope you have a wonderful day.